So exactly how does this work? What, do you get a call from some Yahoo with something to prove? Jump in your costumes, grab some weapons, head out and do battle? Do different battle plans depending on the situation? Like does someone shut out button hook combo five or junction box fake out or something? What is the usual protocol? Where I got something on my face? What are you talking about? How often do you guys go out on these uh, high stakes kick ass missions? This isn't something that happens. We don't just like do this all the time. We're not like a crime fighting team. This isn't a secret sanctum. This is our tiny little apartment and those are my roommates. They should not be out fighting crime. Why is the bad guy calling us in the first place? That's comic book stuff. There's not supposed to be any big bad villains that call you up to tell you where to find them. Criminals don't announce what they're doing at all. Especially not to hobbyist crime fighters. Why would they? What's the upside? It only introduces a more distinct possibility of their criminal plans getting disrupted. None of this makes any sense. Unless its only plan is to get the powers they have. Then it needs to be in a room with them. How is that a plan? How does it get their powers? By taking them over. Like your friend, the one that splits herself, the one they think they're going to save, is being controlled by some smoke monster looking thing. What is that thing? I don't know, an alien or something? What? It says it doesn't have a word for what it is. An alien? I don't know. You've seen it. You've seen what it can do. If it gets in your friend's mouth, it attaches to their brain, it kills them, and it becomes them. It wants their power, and they're heading right for it. Can't do anything? Does it have like an alien space ray or like magic spells or something? It kills them and it takes over your body. That's its whole thing. It finds people it wants and it uses them to get whatever it can out of them. It's not space magic, but it does the job. And it can move and stop time. How does it do that? I don't know. I didn't invent the thing. I just worked for it. Well, then maybe your friends will be fine. It's like only move is to jump in their mouth. It's not like they're defenseless. Yeah, but we don't do this. <laughs> Donald's done some stuff, but it's all like street crime, and the girls have gone out a few times, but it's not like they have any battle plans or anything laid out as a group. The only thing the four of us ever sat down and mapped out was who gets which section of the fridge. How are they gonna deal with this thing? Apparently Donald's even faced off with this thing before, and it got him. It got him? But he looks fine. Time travel. For real? Is it wormhole based? It's gotta be her, right? If you're Time so stopper? worried about them, you need to go with them. You are the variable that shifts the equation into the plus column. What does that mean? System check man, what's your error code? Abort, retry, or fail? Are you scared? Kinda. You should be. Oh, or I wouldn't go. And he's not going, so I can't go. Wait, you wanna go? Mm -mm. I feel like we're getting off track here. Well, we'll go if it's important to you. It wouldn't be safe for you, so. What if I can't help them? Getting shot in the face slowed you down for like three minutes. I just saw you disintegrate two dead bodies into nothing. You can control matter. But I can't always control how I control it. This isn't like anything you've dealt with before. We haven't dealt with anything before. I just feel like you're not hearing me. Look, the bugs are any mint. Are you raising precious? Oh, you pat, pat, pat. Yeah, I'm ready, man. Is the sanction on the thug? Th uh, Saison? Is the safety on that thing? I don't know, where's the... You had to be the loyal one, huh? Stop pointing it at me. And put the pigs in the rib cage. Yo, why do you think he didn't put me that possession smoke up in my flossing hole? You do realize that I am him, right? Yeah. No. What? We are the same person. It's like one book, two different covers. What are you trying to ask me? Why don't you put the murder smoke down my hatch? Because you're all we have left, Precious. And if I've learned anything from Damon's brain, is it doesn't matter what you do, it's how many people you have doing it for you. So if we absorb you, it's just us. We have no one else to lead over. I don't know why the others weren't smart enough to stick around. Because you killed him. I mean, I died. They weren't listening to us. Now, do you know the plan? Yeah. I got this burner right here and a pocket full of bullies. OK. Remember. We really just need to kill one of them. If one goes down, the rest are gonna lose it, and they'll be ours for the picking. <sighs> I wish Carl was here. Yeah, we all do. I wouldn't go for anything. Your friends are crazy, superpowers or not. Oh man. I call catchphraser. Catchphraser? Yeah, I get to say a catchphrase before we finish off the bad guy. Something like, do you feel lucky, punk? Or, Yippee-ki-yay. You have a catchphrase? No. 
but this is my first real showdown. My chance to go full McLean, do some catchphrasing. Maybe focus on getting Fox 4 back rather than worrying about your catchphrase. I'll do both. Okay, but prioritize Fox 4. Looks like they found a spot. We'll be watching. This might come as quite a shock. Prepare to be revolted. For the pun route. We'll see. Your logic does not compute, man. Trust me, I'm a computer. I ran on the simulations, and if you go with them, the odds will be way better. Oh, man. Nobody should have gone. But they did. And without him, they will be picked off one by one. And if it gets their power, what do you think its next move will be? Strip club, probably. Well, sure, but after that. I don't know, it's the middle of the night, so I guess whatever drive through is open? The castle is open 24 It'll hours. come back here to collect all four. And then we'll be outnumbered. You really think it's coming back here? Of course. I know you're trying to save them from your power, but wouldn't you rather go now and fight with your friends than wait and fight against them? Oh, okay. What was that? What just happened? Are you okay? So far. You're not dead? I heard you were dead. I'm talking to you. Yeah, but some guy with no eyes told me that you were dead. Stow the chitty chitty or there's gonna be some bang bang. All right, listen up. We're gonna trade this one for the time stopper. Where is she? No. That's the way it is. Yippee Kaye. You're forcing it. Okay. That's stupid. We're not giving you our friend. What about you? Do you wanna trade for yourself? We're not giving you anything, dude. We're here to get her back. So hand her over or I'm gonna punch your face. I ain't playing. There's a guy on the roof, he just dropped something over Donald. My portal will get you there, see if you can grab it. I'm gonna try to get to Donald. Does your portal lead to the gun? Yeah, good, let's go. Uh, 
uh, something smaller. Okay, I'll keep looking. Right, it's in my arm, you guys. It's in the arm. Um, it's climbing. Donald, do something. Take the arm. Oh. oh god. Are you okay? Yeah, thank you. I, I much prefer this. Do you want to join your arm? No, I'm gonna see how this plays out. It doesn't hurt that much, just kind of a throbbing. Oh no! There it is. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Ah, oh, there it goes. Oh, come on. Get out of her and give her back. Will you let me out of that briefcase? Absolutely not. Fine. What are you doing? You think I care about this body? You do. I hate the damn thing. All it cares about is books, pizza, sleeping in, and that boyfriend. I'm sick of living in it, so let me out of the briefcase. We can't. This is it, right now. No. Fine. Don't! <laughs> Which one of you can do this? Still in there? You can fly? Yeah, it's still in here. How can you fly? I move matter. That makes you fly? I am matter. So am I. Make me fly. Can you get that thing out of her? Just fly me right at her. What is this? What's happening? I can't move it. Why not? I don't think it's matter. What the hell is it? What do I look like? Johnny Answers? So maybe you should just fly me right at her, yeah? Having a rough time over there? I can move her, though. Nope. What? I can't do anything. It's not made of matter. God, didn't woodwork coming at you? I can't seem to get a beat on it. Okay. Holy shit. Jonas? This is the guy. Do you know what this body can do? Oh, you guys, this is gross. This is gross. This is really gross. Get out of. How about this? Jonas! Sebastian, is he breathing? Jonas? Sebastian? He's breathing, but he's a mess. What happened? I found a trash bag. Catchphrase. No, come on. The chopped off head in this bag is still talking. Ugh. Okay, you got that? Hold it tight. I'm gonna freeze time. Okay. Yippee Kaye. Where'd it go? They're gone. Where'd you put it? Yes! Nowhere. I threw them into nothing. Nothing? Is it coming back? I don't see how. Well, where did they come from? Are there gonna be more of them? Hold on. How far back are you going? We don't know how long that thing's been inside of her. I don't care. I'll go back a month. You're gonna undo a month? Open up a portal right now. You did it when we killed Donald. 
Sebastian, I'm not trying to stop you. I'm obviously gonna open up a portal for you. Let's get Jonas to a hospital first. This first? Jonas is hurt. Four is dead. So she's not in any immediate danger. He might need help right now. Then freeze time. His condition won't change if you freeze time. Right, good. Look, it's been months and months uh, since that thing came through a portal in Roxy's basement. You know where that thing came from? I thought I'd stop them from coming through Pentameter's portals. Who's Pentameter? A guinea pig that Roxy was testing her superpower serum on. And it worked? Where is this guy? Like, a guinea pig, like the pet. I don't care where it came from. We have to stop it from killing Fox 4. Look, she was fine when she left us, so we're just gonna take the portal back to then. Wait, wait, hold up. For the past four days, Jonas has been harping at me about portals. If you've ever been through one, you're not going to be able to change anything your past self does until they go through it. It's very confusing. I've never been through one. Never? Not even when you've been fighting crime? No, I mean, I get to move around and stop time, but every time I get near a portal, she becomes a time travel chastity belt. What do you think I've been complaining about? Look, just make sure she's not possessed already, okay? Sebastian. Hold on. Hey. No hug? Really? I was just checking. Can we make this quick? Bella doesn't have a twin sister. Look, I have to talk to you about something really important. It might take a few minutes. Is Frankie home? A creature from you don't know where. Yeah. And I die. Yeah. Dead. You're dead. And this conveniently happens right after I get my own place. Well, I wasn't there when it happened, but if it's any time around when I stop being able to feel you, then it's in like a month. You can feel me? Yeah. Well, stop it. You know that you're a part of me. I don't choose to feel you. You're just part of who I am. Listen, you gotta go. You have to come with me. I don't have to do anything, but you're going to die. No, I'm not. I pulled you in. You were dead. You were dead inside of me. If you're telling the truth and something comes for me, I'll deal with it. You don't deal with it. You die. I've seen the way you deal with it. By dying. You have to come with me. No. Then just get out of here. I'm not leaving Frankie. Fine. Take Frankie. Just leave town. Get out of Chicago. Sebastian, I can handle myself. Are you kidding me right now? I've made it very clear that you do not get to make decisions for me anymore. I have a life here. Oh my god. Please leave. Look, I wasn't trying to tell you what to do. Good job. I'm just trying to help. You did, okay? Look, I get that you think I'm in trouble. I'll be on the lookout, I promise. But I'm not coming with you. Try that! You don't understand! No! You don't understand! <laughs> no, Sebastian! I'm gonna make you understand! You always thought our right side was our best. I'm not done yet, Sebastian. This is what it's like when somebody thinks they can make decisions for you. Try it again. I'm gonna start collecting those cute little freckles from under our eye.
Dark roast? Yeah, dark roast actually has less caffeine in it than light roast coffee. Uh, I think I knew that. I think I read something about Finland. What happened? She's not coming. What happened to your face? Can we go home? Are you okay? Oh. Okay. Hold on to something. Those are friends of ours. Yeah, okay.
Hey. Hey. Hey, two. Yeah. Do you need something to do? No, I'm good. Maybe other than that? Uh oh. Did they tell you what's wrong with him? It's called a vegetative state. When's he gonna wake up? Uh, we don't know. So it's like a coma? It's not a coma. And he's breathing independently, so that's good. You know, if there was anyone else lying here, he could just look in their brain and see what was wrong. I hate this. Coma, Jonas? We as a family killed three people last night. Yeah, one of them was already dead, though. Okay, but he was still moving, and we threw him off a building and chopped his head off. And we killed, killed two real live people. But would you have rather of them killed us? I'd rather be getting ready to go to work, or going to the movies, or taking a walk. Do you know where killing people and dragging my vegetative friends to the hospital ranks? Like, fourth? Never. I hate everything about this. Is this what our life is gonna be like now? I don't want it. Yeah, but you did awesome. Hate it. Yeah. You wanna head home? No, I don't wanna see her. Four? Yeah. Have you ever thought about going off on your own? No. Why? Because I'm not my own. None of us are. That's why I never understood for. We just wanted her to do her part. We didn't want to control her. We're a team. If one part of the team is gone, what are the rest of us supposed to do? It didn't work out so great for her anyways. Hey, at least one of you survived. Oh. There goes another security deposit. Yeah, they definitely wouldn't have cared about the bullet holes. Where are the other bodies? Vaporized. Good, when Jonas wakes up, he can do her too. Hey, I don't want him to do her. I don't want her to be done at all. What happened to her? Where are the other two? They're at the hospital. The hospital? We have to do something with her. Well, we can't vaporize her, Donald. It'll be like she never existed. We can't keep her. The freezer isn't big enough. Donald! Well... Can't we bury her? We have to tell Frankie. Who? Bella's boyfriend. He probably doesn't even know what happened to her. Oh, God. You're gonna tell him that she's dead? Does he even know about any of you? No. How do you think he'll react if someone who looks exactly like his girlfriend comes over and says that his girlfriend's dead? They have to tell him something. He's just gonna be wondering forever. So how you doing? Meh. Yeah, it's been a while. Didn't know if I'd see you again. You don't spend a lot of time anymore digging around in your subconscious. Oh, I don't need to. Our phones all have games now. But now I can't seem to get out. Do you know why that is? Yes, I burned out the part of my brain that the thing was trying to attach to. Hope it worked. You're still here. So are you. Yeah, you haven't been able to get rid of me, but could you give me something else to wear? I've only ever seen you wear that. I wonder why. I thought maybe you were warm because you're in a bikini drinking a milkshake. Come on, to have a girl with a milkshake, all you need is a milkshake. You've just been using this to distract yourself. Why do I need a girl with a milkshake? I don't know. What are you trying to tell yourself? Thanks. Hey, you're not dead. I thought I was supposed to do something. 
Yeah, you and the girls went off to fight Carl's monster. Did you not... Did you hit your head? The monster's gone. Nice. So now what? How about some uh, breakfast? I thought I was supposed to do something. Something special. Because of what I can do. Haven't you, though? I've seen the news. Looks like you're doing some good. Yeah. Isn't that something? No one can do what we can do. I thought we were given powers for a reason, but we weren't. It's just you. No purpose, no reason. We don't even have superpowers. They're super normal facilities. Who cares what they're called? There's no destiny. No big plan. So what? So what did you make me for? Every time I found a new way to fight crime, I thought it was another piece of the puzzle. Time travel, heroes, damsels. I thought there was a grand design. Where's your grand design? What am I supposed to do with all of this? Whatever you want to do, man. Don't I have a responsibility? No. There has to be more. Why? There has to be a reason. It can't just be chance. Now tell me, what is your real plan for me? Why should I have a plan? I've done my thing. You're here, got some nice abilities. Dude, some responsibility for yourself. Make your own plan. Give me back the change. Never give me a vanilla one of these. It's gotta be chocolate. Well, there you go. So am I stuck here? Do you really wanna go back? I tried to report you missing. They said there was no Bella Solo. Let me go, Frankie. What happened to you? I thought you were dead. Let me go. I'm fine. I just don't want to be with you anymore. I don't need my stuff. I got to go. Bella. I don't care what your real name is. So I'm stuck here? Don't have to be. How do I get back? Might be easier just to let go. Like, die? Maybe be better. Do you know how much damage it did to your brain? No. And you wouldn't have to worry about that body count anymore either. And then Jonas Renatera would be over. I'm not going to kill myself. You already did the hard part. It'd just be letting go. It's not like you never thought about it. What do you know about it? Me? Probably nothing. I just live in a place where you stick all your regret and shame. Well, then your perspective's probably a little skewed. What about mine? Yeah. Yours might be a little too. How can it be? I don't even know all the bad stuff you've done. No, she doesn't, but the truth's at least as bad as whatever she's imagining. So, why not put a stop to it? You obviously don't trust yourself. It's like, go. You can stop worrying about it. What would you even go back for now, anyways? Like I needed to ask. Watch. About to see her for the first time. So I quick scanned her, flipped back to her short-term memory. To see if she checked the mirror when she got out of the shower that morning? To see what kind of person she was. And I lucked out because she stopped time an hour earlier to get a seat on the L. Watch. <laughs> so I scanned her brain, not content, composition. And it turned out it was different from everyone else's. It has like a weird chemical signature in the brain tissue. And that's when I knew I wasn't the only one. 
And once I found her, it was just a matter of scanning for people that had the same kind of chemical signature in their brain. It wasn't hard once I knew what I was looking for. We lit up like heat signatures on a thermal scan. As surprised as I was to find other people with powers, I think I was more surprised that we all had minimum wage jobs. I figured one of us would have figured out how to turn superpowers into some kind of money. After that, it was simply a matter of, do you want to get tacos or anything while we're here? I mean, we're here. Wow, get a chorizo tostada. Those are the F and Mac. After that, it was simply a matter of finding an apartment big enough to hold all of us. When I did, I rented it, put the idea in their minds that it was time to move, and why didn't record the Craigslist ad? Yeah, they all thought it was kind of weird that we lived in an apartment and had superpowers when all that business came out. But there we were. Donald put the idea in their minds that it was destiny, so it's supposed to be meant to be. Sure. So, did that help you? What? Telling me all that stuff I already know? I'm part of your subconscious. I was there for all that. Oh, sure. So, did remembering your friends make you want to go back more? Help you forget all the damage you've done? All the damage you could still do? What do you think? Did you get him? How'd you know who was coming? Electricon? Yeah. I didn't. But did you get him was my safest opener no matter who it was. I figured if Damon killed you all and was coming after me and I opened with, did you get him? I could pretend it was all part of a plan to help him get you guys. Buy me enough time to figure out my next move at least. Nice. So did you get him? Yep. And Precious? He's alive. Good for him. He seemed like kind of a douche. He's all right. He shot Fox 3. Is she okay? Yeah. It all worked out then. So, in your time with this group, you didn't happen to run into any other big criminals anywhere, did you? We pretty much hung out in a dilapidated warehouse waiting for him to kill us. Wait, you're not looking to go fight more crime already. Didn't you just get back from a huge battle? Take a morning, man. Get some sleep. I hardly did anything. My electricity couldn't affect the cloud snake. I spent days just sitting around, time traveling so that nothing would happen to me, knocking you guys out in the courtyard, which took no effort. And then when I finally found a big battle, I spent most of it frozen in time. Sure, I did chop his head off, but let's face it, gravity did most of the work on Damon. Virginia ended up getting rid of the thing. You chopped his head off? Everything's the worst. I don't have a supervillain or any way to find other crime. Well, you could be blind. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was trying to choke you out, so... You probably would have let me go if I shocked you anywhere. I didn't have to go for the eyes. So you think somebody could give me a ride home? Yeah, I got you. Thanks. Come on. Do you remember this little ritual? Emily Hawthorne, freshman girlfriend. She made the mistake of breaking up with you. There was no body to find. They had a barrier baby blanket. Yeah. She was really good about the breakup, too. She still liked me. She just wanted to go out more, instead of staying inside all the time. I couldn't go out. I collected too many headstones being out in the world. You still went to school, though. I thought I had to. Kids go to school. You saw it at her locker, on the arm of Brad Jeffries. He was nice, too. Where's his headstone? He's across town. He's Catholic. Do you think anything you've done has made up for any of this? Do you think anything I ever do can make up for any of this? Look at how many flowers that kid is holding. 
Donald likes to think that because we can do these things, we're supposed to be some kind of superheroes. How heroic is it to sit in your room hiding out for your whole entire life? A real hero would have ended it. Pull the plug. It's the only way to ensure there's no more baby blankets being buried. There's nothing heroic about that. No? Talk about running away, it's the ultimate form of giving up. Why do you think they call it cashing in your chips? It proves that you don't have what it takes to stick it out, go all in. I'm not talking about a turn of phrase, dickhead. I'm talking about parents standing at graves of kids that aren't coming home. You think I forgot? I stood in every corner of this graveyard, I listened to every eulogy, I felt every one of them. Aren't you the nice guy? Can I help, hon? The monitor's beeping weird. Oh God, what's going on? We're just gonna have some people come in, guys. Would you mind stepping out into the hallway? Why, what's going on? We just need a little bit of room around the bed to help your friend. Please step out. Where are we? Fibrillation. Get the life back. I'll take over compressions. You're on the mask. You know it's the way. You know. Deep down, you've always known. I've been better. I can control it. I guess Donald's head just exploded from over-enthusiasm then. It's shocking us. There's always going to be an excuse to hurt one more. There's only one way to stop this. Then everyone will be safe. All the strangers, all your friends, Donald, Sebastian, Virginia. Come on. Going tachycardic. Do you two wait on the hall, please? Charging. Stand clear. I can still help them. They don't need your help anymore. Well, then I won't help. We'll just hang out. You think Virginia wants to hang out with you, knowing everything that you've done? Come on. I don't know. Now. Let go. Code, one milligram epinephrine. Let go. Yeah, let go of everything. You don't have to feel responsible. You don't have to feel frustrated, angry, sad. You don't have to feel happy. You don't have to wonder why you don't feel happy. You don't have to feel anything. You don't even have to breathe. You've been breathing for every minute of your entire life, even when you're sleeping. Can you imagine how much energy you've spent breathing? Aren't you tired? You don't have to feel tired anymore. You can just stop. Take over on compressions. Excuse me. Hey, get out of here. Let go.
Did I die? Did I almost die or did I die? I think you were dead. dead. Can I go? So how was being dead? Kind of depressing. My subconscious is kind of a dick. So you didn't see angels or anything? I saw chorizo tostada. Nothing like Mexican food after an all-nighter. You only got one tostada? Yeah. I just racked up billions of dollars in hospital bills. You don't have insurance? You think I can afford Obamacare? Why don't you just light up the old sparklers and go like erase their file? No, no, no. We're not going to keep blowing up apartments we can't afford. They did their job, and I'm just going to have to pay them off in installments for the rest of my life. Actually, you guys should help me pay for it because you took me to a hospital in the first place. Um, unresponsive vegetative state. If you just kissed me in the alley, you just saved a lot of time and cabillions of dollars. Excuse me for trying to save your life. You're excused, adrenaline lips. <sighs> hospital hoochie mama. Awesome. I'm trying to do something with EKG. E kissing G. I'll, okay. I'll keep working on it. Okay. Actually, even if I did want to rip off the hospital, I'm not sure what I can do anymore. I kind of broke part of my brain getting that thing out of my head. Broke your brain? Broke how? You have amnesia? I'm not sure I would know. What does EKG even stand for? Try it. What? Float my burrito. I don't know. I already made out with Virginia today. Are we exclusive or can I float Sebastian's burrito? Guys. Electro kissing gamma ray? Float it sparkles. Right into my mouth. No, <laughs> you're trying to make it sound dirty. No, what I'm trying to do is christen the airship burrito. And all you're flying is the stall tactic flag. That's a mouthful. Not yet, it's not. Guys! Energetically kissing grandma. Do we have to do the whole circus right now? I may have lost the thread here. Nights like last night are exactly why I wanted Roxy to get rid of our powers. Can't we get through one meal without somebody's head exploding? Or brains breaking? Or eyes glowing? I have my tacos. You have your tacos. Isn't that enough? It's enough for me. Yeah, right. You are the captain of the crazy charge. You're always getting everyone riled up. I would actually like to know where I stand. Taco. Just real quick. Float it. Oh, that's not how that usually feels. OK, taco time. That should do it. You're welcome. OK. It's not floating. No. No, uh, that was the mind reader. He's still working on EKG a little bit. You're just a loop of chomping on a floating burrito. She's still thinking about that kiss. I'm thinking you're an idiot. I had to go three levels down, but it's there. E-K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Son of a bitch. Can you make me do stuff? Used to. You want to try? Make me eat the burrito. No, she wants to do that already. Make her give me half. No. OK. No. What? I can read you. You're scared because you want the other half of your burrito for dinner. Damn right I do. But I can't get a hold of you. <laughs> dinner burrito lives. Dude, that thing's going to be cold by the time you get around to it the first time. So you can't float it. And you can't make me give it away. What can you do? I can tell you're thinking about it. That's not super impressive. Pretty sure her Instagram is filled with burritos she's eaten. And burritos I would like to someday eat. Huh. So you can't make people do things anymore? I guess not. And you can't control matter? You blew your whole burrito game. I'm going to try with the floating one more time. Oh my god. I knew we shouldn't be messing with this. Oh, oh, hilarious. Mess with the easy target. Who knew a coma would make you funnier? Yes. Virginia, isn't this great? You don't need any Roxy formula. Not for me, at least. I diffused my brain. There's no more landmine to step on. That is great. But I've been up all night, and I'm a little tired of getting scared every five minutes. I just need to go home and get some sleep. I don't see what's so great about it. You totally lowered the stock of our supergroup. We don't have a supergroup. There's not much point now, is there? Every time things got too intense, we had you up our sleeve to roll out and blow everybody up. Where's our A-bomb now? I don't care, man. I spent the last 15 years hiding in a cave, and the door just got thrown open. At least we still have Virginia's portal. I really don't want to do this anymore, Donald. I've been fighting crime for a few weeks, and it really sucks, man. Think about all the people you helped. Yeah, that part is great. But it's all this stress leading up to that that sucks. How much more damage do you think that cloud thing would have done if you didn't throw it into the void portal? That thing came from the portal, Donald. I've spent the last 12 hours having one heart attack after another. It's like living in a constantly escalating state of panic. Why do I have to be the one to do this? Because you can and other people can't. You can help people. How much does it have to hurt me before I can stop helping them? Why are you both like this? 
You're throwing away something amazing. Don't yell at her, man. This is the same old Donald diatribe. We're almost in our 30s. Don't you think it's time to lay some of this angry ambition to rest? How can you say we have any responsibility at all now that you know where we came from? We were created by curiosity in a series of half-realized hunches. We weren't chosen by anything but chance. I still feel chosen. Who chose? I do. I choose. I give this meaning because I go out there and use my powers. It doesn't matter how we got them, it matters how we use them. And they only have meaning if we use them. You can talk to me about the same old Donald diatribe forever, acting like you know everything from the safety of your little crawl space. Do you know how many speeches you've given me about how I'm wrong for doing anything? How about you just stop sitting around telling me what I'm doing wrong and help me do something right? I mean, damn it! We have superpowers and all we do is sit around and talk. What the hell, guys? I want you to have your meaning, Donald. But I want a glass of wine during my many peaceful nights at home. Can you at least still let me use your portals so I can go back and find crimes? Time travel is not a fix-all, Donald. Opening portals all willy-nilly is what let that cloud thing in in the first place. All it did for Sebastian is change her driver's license picture for the rest of her life. Chicks dig scars. Certainly didn't help Fox 4. Oh, yeah. Now that Jonas can't dissolve matter anymore, we have to do something with the body. Want to say something? Bye, four. I went to your place to say goodbye to Frankie, so we won't be waiting for you to come home forever, like I did. You were my favorite, Bella, even though you left us and left our name and cut our face. Yeah, and that wasn't awesome. But you can't pick your favorite, your favorite just is. I'm gonna like the world a little less now that you're not in it. I'm gonna miss you. I'm sorry I didn't see you. And I'm sorry you're in an unmarked grave. But I wish I got to know you in the life you made. Thanks for that night in the tub. I know that you were using me, but it was still really cool. Still need to figure out how to find crime. You'll figure it out. You always do. Talking to me? Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? We must be talking to me. I'm the only one here. You're not using our stove to create new life or anything, are you? Turkey tacos. Don't burn yourself. I'm watching them. Save me some. I will when you start pitching in for ingredients. What do we say about knives? Looking to go out? I ain't dressed for dancing. I'll pull up Google Maps. Looks like we got a couple guys who think they're gonna rob a gas station. Is anyone gonna get hurt? Meh. Well, if there's nothing else. Ooh, this could be bad. Home invasion and the family is home putting the kids to bed. Are they already in the house? Uh, almost. Sebastian, you coming? It's a crime. Got it. All right, they're coming through the kitchen in the back. Looks like the one in front has a gun and is a little drug edgy. Okay, my portal should get you somewhere in the vicinity of the dining room. You guys have fun. I'll give you a minute to get situated and I'll wait for your text. Okay. I'm about to start time back up. You wanna play some Bananagrams? Sure. After you call the cops. Yeah.
just want whatever's in the safe. Hey, keep it down. They're trying to put the kids to sleep. Back up! What is that? What is that? We're getting them out of here. Cops are on their way. broke it with his face. Looks like they're planning a TV dinner. Text in Virginia? Done. All right. Settle down. Think, think about what you've done. This is your stuff. You gotta press charges, okay? Virginia. Chakalaka. And then there were two, bro. All right. Hey, you have any experience making one of those job resumes? I think I'm gonna need one now that I have managed earlier. 